Okay, let's talk about multiplying powers. And really, uh, this falls under the math topic of property of exponents, okay? So really what we have here, of course, we have powers, and we're gonna do each one of these problems here in a second, but a power consists of a base and an exponent. So we have to think about what are we gonna do? Uh, you know, how do we manipulate these particular power problems? Uh, to get the right answer, right? Now, of course, we're going to be focusing on multiplication. These are all multiplication problems. But uh, we have to consider what happens when these are division problems. Or can we do anything with addition or subtraction? What happens when we take a power to a power and all these different type of things? So this, what I'm going to be focusing on in this video is just one property of a set of properties you need to know, okay? Or you could think of these as rules, properties and mathematics or essentially rules. So we're gonna get into all of that in a second, but first let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over many, many years I've constructed a ton of very uh, complete comprehensive video-based courses. Okay, so mostly at the middle and high school math uh, level. So if you are um, taking a math class and you need help and you like my teaching style, you want complete full instruction on whatever topic you're learning, I likely have it, 99.9% .9 that I have it. And of course, in my program as well, I do a ton of videos on how to solve specific problems. It's a big thing where I do, not only are you are gonna get a complete full video-based lesson, much more than what I do on my um, uh, YouTube channels, but you're, I solve tons of problems step-by-step, step, break, it, break it all down so you can kind of you know, see and understand how to solve actual problems, not just understanding the concept. So I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. And um, also I'm going to leave a link to some math notes. Okay. So uh, if your notes are not as, you know, uh, strong as they should be, and you should be working on taking great math notes, you could uh, pick up a pair of mine. So I have uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, uh, geometry, algebra two, trigonometry currently. Okay, so again, those uh, you can find those in the description as well. All right, so let's talk about these problems. We'll use these basic examples here. And before I even look at these, or before we get into these, let's just kind of observe what's going on. So this first uh, problem, we're dealing with numbers, okay? And then the second problem, we're dealing with one variable, okay? And um, just notice... The, um, the exponents are all positive. And then here we're dealing with um, some other numbers and a negative uh, exponent. So here, all of these refer are referred to as powers. Okay, so this is two to the fifth power, but the two part is called the base and the little tiny number up here is called the exponent, okay? So that's why we like to re you know kind of refer to these as the properties of exponents. Okay, so let's get to it, and we'll do these problems as a kind of a good illustration of what's going on. All right, let's take two to the fifth power times uh, two uh, cubed. I'm gonna use this as an example to actually give you this uh, property. So what does this mean, okay? Well, uh, as a power, if I wrote this in uh, its full expanded form, two to the fifth power means take two, multiply by itself five times, all right? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's uh, five twos, okay, or two to the fifth power. Okay, and we're gonna multiply that by two cubed. So that's gonna be two times two times two. All right, so what would be the answer of all these twos being multiplied together? Well, let's just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two to the eighth power. Okay, and that is correct. So two to the fifth times two cubed is equal to two to the eighth. So looking at that, um, you know, studying this, what would be a rule? What happened here? How did we get from here to here? Okay, that's the answer. Got from here to here, what, what occurred? Aha, uh -huh. so I see that you are on your A game today. You're like, yeah, look, you added these things up here. Yes, that is what we did, okay? We added the exponents. So we are gonna have here two, five plus three equals two to the eighth power, okay? That's exactly what occurred. We did add the exponents. Now, 
there's a couple things here that we need to discuss, all right? So indeed, this is how we multiply powers. We do add the exponents, but there's a big, big, uh, you know, condition here. You have to have the same base, the same base, okay? So if the bases are the same and you're multiplying powers, then we add the exponents. Now we can express that mathematically this way, okay? I'm going to erase this. A to the M times A to the N is equal to A to the M plus N. Okay, this is a property of exponents. What it's saying is if you have the same base, all right, and you're multiplying powers with the same base, we just keep one of the bases and we add the exponents, okay? Now, let's look at, of course, this would be 2 to the 8th. Let's look at an example of where, you know, um, you have different bases. So let's say I have 2 to the 5th times 3 squared, okay? So here, like, oh, this is... Uh, you know, this one's two, this is three. Can I just add these? No, you're, this is fully uh, simplified. You can't do anything here, okay? Because these guys are not the same base. So this is as fully simplified as you can go with this particular expression, right? Okay, so if you understand that, here is our property. Uh, we can go ahead and do uh, the rest of these problems. Now, remember, this property applies to both uh, the powers with um, that are numeric, okay. In other words, that the base is um, a number or variables doesn't make a difference. So let's take a look at this guy here, x to the fourth times x to the sixth. The base is x. It's the same thing, right? So x and x. So here we could just certainly just add the exponents. I get x to the tenth power. Yay! That's easy. We give ourselves a smiley face. Check mark. We're on the uh, we're on the move here, right? We're building some momentum. It seems pretty easy. So let's move on here. How do I do this next problem? Well, I have 3y to the 8th power times 2y to the negative 5th. Now, looking at this, all of this is multiplication. This is 3 times y to the 8th times 2 times y to the negative 5th. So the way I'm going to handle this guy is we'll multiply the numbers first. So 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, remember in multiplication, you can, um, order doesn't make a difference. So in other words, 1 times 2 times 7 is the same thing as 2 times 7 times 1. So we can we can reorder things in multiplication. That's a property. We don't have to uh, um, concern ourselves with this. Now, to have the product of the numbers, I'll address the y. So I have y to the 8th, okay, and this is multiplication. Let's break this out uh, real quick over here. So this is y to the 8th times y to the negative 5th power. So what does the rule tell us? Okay. First of all, do we have the same base? Yes, they are both y's. So I need to add the exponents. That's y plus a negative 5, which, of course, I know you know that is y to the third power. So this is y to the third power. And there is my answer, okay? So, um, again, the key here is, uh, obviously, you need to know the property, okay? And uh, two, you need to be able to determine if you're dealing with the same base. You gotta look at the base, that's the first thing. You gotta make sure the bases are the same. If the bases are the same, then you can add the exponents. Let's take a look at another example. All right, we'll give you one or two more quick examples and then we'll call it a wrap for this video. All right, so this applies to any kind of algebraic situation. So what if I had um, y to the fifth, um, times x plus 1 squared times y times x plus 1 to the seventh. Okay? So looking at this, you're like, oh, boy, what do I do? Right? If you think you know how to do this problem, go ahead and maybe pause the video and write your answer down. All right, so what's going on here? Well, let's go ahead and reorganize everything. Again, this is all multiplication. This is y to the fifth times this, times this. It's all multiplication. So 
we can think of it as this way. It can reorder things. That's y to the fifth times y times y plus 1 squared times, <clears throat> excuse me, y plus 1 to the seventh. <clears throat> Ooh, need a little water there. All right, so hopefully now reorganizing the problem this way, we can kind of see what's going on. So let's uh, address the y's here. We have y to the fifth times y to the what? Well, anytime you see something like this, y or three, and you're like, well, or, you know, what, what's the power? It's always to the power of one, but we don't write it like y to the first power. We just write, we, uh, just write a y, for example, or three to the first, we just write three. So technically, this is y to the first. The bases are the same, okay? So I can just add the exponents. All right, that's what the rule says. So this is going to be y to the sixth power. Okay, actually, let's do it. Give ourselves a little bit of room. Okay, so this would be y to the sixth power, and we're multiplying it by this. Now, if you notice, these are powers in and of uh, themselves. Okay, this is x plus 1 squared, x plus 1 to the seventh. But don't be fooled here. <clears throat> um, the base... The base of these powers are the same, okay? So this power and this power, they have the same base. So being that they had the same base, we can add the exponents. So that's going to be x plus 1 to the 7 plus 2, all right, which is 9, ninth power. And that is the answer. All right, so I can go on and on and on and give you more challenging uh, problems with this. But this is, put this in your notes if you don't already have it. This is a, um, the... Uh, product property of exponents. Then there's other ones. We got we, this is how you multiply powers. Um, we need to learn how to divide powers. We need to learn how to take powers of powers. We need to learn what um, a power, anything to the zero power is. And then we need to pull all this in and do complicated problems. I mean, and these problems are lots of fun. Things that might look like this. Okay, I'm just making something up. Let's see. This is kind of where this is going. You need to be able to do something like this. Okay. And I would consider this a oh, medium level, you know, uh, problem. All right. Not so easy, not so hard, but you'll need to be able to simplify this. So this is the end goal is to be able to do something like this because working with powers and exponents is uh, absolutely essential in, you know, algebra and beyond, okay? All right, so hopefully this was a good real, uh, review for you. Um, again, I can't stress that uh, watching these videos are just quick tutorials, right? It's, they're designed to kind of, you know, give you a kind of power lesson on this stuff. But uh, don't, um, let's see, don't substitute these videos <clears throat> for full lessons and practice. You got to practice this stuff. Uh, or you're going to forget it. All right, it's so easy. Believe me, as a teacher, <clears throat> for uh, decades, you know, um, I've seen just thousands of thousands, tens of thousands of quizzes and papers and one uh, test. And students tend to really make a lot of mistakes and get these um, properties confused. So just because you understand this, when you throw, when you tie it all together into bigger problems, believe me, you can start really, you know, confusing things. So I'm going to be doing some more videos on this. There's already stuff on my YouTube channel. Hey, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please consider smashing that like button. But again, whether it's through my math help program or, or something else, you got to, um, one, make sure these properties and all this stuff is organized nicely in your notes. And two, that you practice, 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 or it's not going to stick. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.